shining light, thinking of three key issues you would like this government to take up for our report. So, the initial reason that I launched Fashion Roundtable was based on working in the Houses of Parliament, realising that the industry that I come from and love, which is the fashion industry, wasn't really in the room at any of the Brexit events that I went to, and I went to a lot. And uh, I set up some roundtables whilst I was working there, and that was the kernel of launching Fashion Roundtable six months ago. We've worked on a Brexit report, which is now on our website and is now with key policy leaders across all of the Whitehall departments. And the reason that we put together all this information was because I knew from my community in the fashion industry and across all of my social media that the, an industry that voted 90% for Remain wasn't getting its message across, whereas industries such as fishing or cars were much more successfully and that yet both of them make a lot less for the British economy than fashion does, which is at 29.7 billion and growing at 11% each year, which is fantastic. It's a success story. So for me, the three things we're asking for is maintaining the single market, which other industries have advocated for. It is to maintain our connection and inclusion in educational policies such as Erasmus and Horizon 2020. And there is discussions around staying within Erasmus. And it is um, freedom of access, which is part of the single market, be that for Europeans coming and working here, but also for us going, so that there's no hold-ups, there's no logistics issues for product, but there's also no queuing or or delays, meaning that we become a less um, desirable country to do business with.